I wish I could say good morning to you folks, but it's not a good morning because you're here to help facilitate the murder of children. You're not here to protect women. You're here to help women murder women. The number one target of abortion, unborn women. That's who dies the most. Unborn female babies. That's what you're here doing today. Helping to facilitate the murder of women. Helping women become murderers of women. That's what your pro-choice clinic escort vest should really say. Women and cowards helping women murder women. And I say cowards not to be insulting, but men who help murder babies are cowards by nature. Men who help do this. And I know you don't want to look at it, young man, but this is what you're here for today. You're not here for a good cause. You're not here to love and help women. You're not here as a proponent of, of choice. You're here as a proponent of murder. It doesn't matter what size the human being is. It doesn't matter whether the human being is born or unborn. What you're looking at are little fingers, little toes, little nose. A little human being created in the image of God whose life is just as precious as yours. The only difference between these babies that you don't want to look at and you is that your mother loved you when you were unborn. Your mother nurtured you when you were unborn. Your mother cared for you when you were unborn. Your mother very likely named you even when you were unborn. But today you've, you've come to help mothers murder their own babies. That's what you're doing here today. That's the reality. You're not on the side of science. You're not on the side of truth. You're on the wrong side of the red line. You're on the side of death and hate and murder. And Liz here is a pro. Liz has been murdering babies for a long time. She looks like a sweet grandmother, but she's covered in the blood of countless babies at this point. And there's no amount of time or soap and water. There's no number of showers that will wash that off. You're new to the slaughter of babies. It's new for you. So however many babies die today, that's the, that's the guilt that will be on you. That's the blood that will be on you before God, your judge. Is she trying to protect you? Is she, is she trying to protect you from the bad man telling you the truth? See, it's a lie on your vest. The truth I'm holding in my hands. What you need to do is go inside and ask them for your tray. It says pro-choice. Ask them for your tray of pro-choice. You know what you won't get? A, pre, a, a tray of pro-choice. There's no such thing as a tray of pro-choice. But they can give you a tray full of dead and mutilated babies. They can give you a tray full of babies ripped limb from limb. They can give you that. And if you want to be honest, go inside and ask for your tray. Because at some point today, some of these well-meaning murderous neighbors who support the murder of unborn babies, they're going to come by and they're going to thank you for being here today. And you need to be able to appropriately show them what they're thanking you for. You need to be able to show them the deeds that you have accomplished today. Show them your work. This is not a place of smiles and donuts and flowers. It's a place of death. Is that what you're working for today? Free donuts? Extra credit for a class at PSU? Or are you trying to work off your own guilt, having perhaps helped facilitate the murder of your own child with a young lady here? That's what some of these death scores are here for. They're here to justify their own sin, to justify their own murder. They're standing up and helping others become murderers like them. That's a tragedy, young man. The word of God for you and for every one of you today is, Thou shalt not murder. And what a lie it is to put a sign on the front porch that says, Love wins. <laughs> Love wins while you're ripping children limb from limb. What an incredible lie. 
just like your pro-choice clinic escort vest is a lie. You're not pro-choice, you're pro-murder. You're pro-dismemberment, you're pro-slaughter, you're pro-death. But there is a sign on the porch that says love wins. It says uh, all people are equal. What about unborn people? What about those people? What about the unborn people? Are they equal? I happen to think they are. I happen to think if love wins, the unborn people will not die today. They'll not be ripped limb from limb. They'll not have their arms ripped off of their bodies. They'll not have their heads ripped off their torsos. They'll not be thrown away as trash or used for science experiments or spare parts for born human beings. If love wins, then you'll truly treat all people as equal. Born people, unborn people, black people, white people, Jewish people, all people. But you're not about love, you're not about truth, you're about lies, and you're about hate. That slogan on your vest, that's just a lie. This is the truth. And remember, when people thank you, you need to pull up a picture of aborted babies on your phone, and you can, you can say, okay, Google, and your phone will say, oh yeah, or you can say, hello, Siri, and Siri will say, yeah, what do you want? I, I, show me aborted baby pictures. And Siri, or your little Google Assistant, will help you and show you aborted baby pictures. And then you can show the people that thank you for what you've done here today, what you've actually done and what they're thanking you for. And don't forget, young man, when you go home and you want to brag to your friends what you've done, don't forget to show them your pictures. When you get on your Facebook page, your Twitter, and you want to tell the world how you've stood up for pro-choice, you've stood up for women, make sure to get the pictures of the babies that are slaughtered and dismembered so you can show the world what you've done today because what you've done is to violate the law of God the highest law to love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul all your mind and your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself the two highest laws the Lord Jesus spoke them in Matthew 22 verses 37 through 40 and you're violating both in one act as you help people murder other people created in the image of God. You're violating both laws. And you'll be accountable for all of eternity for having done that, young man. God is a just judge. And He is angry with the wicked every day. And this is incredibly wicked. This is far more wicked than robbing a bank and murdering the bank teller. You're helping mothers murder their own children. And you're doing it for donuts. That's your pay. Donuts. Incredibly evil. When you see your, your terrorist friends on TV, you know, the jihadis, ISIS, ISIL, whatever you want to call them. When you see your terrorist buddies on TV, know that you're even worse. They have an ideology, a murderous ideology. They murder for Allah. They murder in the name of Islam. They murder in the name of Jihad, following Muhammad's example. But you, young man, you're murdering the name of pro-choice. You're murdering the name of abortion. You're murdering in the name of, of fetus, which is just Latin for baby, Latin sleight of hand, terminating pregnancies, another lie, sleight of hand, because a terminated pregnancy is a murdered child because the condition of being pregnant is being with child. And so your, your, your pro-choice jihadi, that's what you are. So when you see the Muslim jihadis on TV, cheer and celebrate and say, good job, because you can identify with them. You follow an ideology blindly, unthinkingly, and you murder innocent people, just like your Muslim jihadi friends. You're on the wrong side of the red line, young man. You're on the side of the jihadi, the side of the murderer, the side of those who murder innocent, defenseless human beings. Your vest is a lie. Your cause is a lie. This is the truth. 
go inside and ask for your tray of pro-choice. Get your tray of dead and mutilated babies. Go inside and ask if you can take some pictures up and put it on your Facebook so you can show your friends what you've accomplished today. This vest, this is not what you've accomplished today. What you've accomplished is inside. And soon it'll be in a dish like this. In the trash, or a science experiment, or a spare parts tray to follow. It's appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. Hebrews 9.27 Your day will come. You'll face God, your Creator. You'll stand before Him and give an account for this very day, for this very hour, where you heard the truth and you hardened your heart, where you wouldn't look at what you're guilty of, because it's, it's just too terrible. It's just too terrible. Where you stood behind and beneath a lying orange vest helping women slaughter women and little babies boys too helping mothers become murderers you know when a, when a pregnant woman terminates her baby she's not just unpregnant she doesn't leave simply a woman who now is unpregnant she leaves still a mother of a baby, but the baby has been murdered. She leaves as a murderer of her own baby. The women who come here are already mothers. This very day, there are women all across Portland having baby showers for their unborn babies. This very day in this city of, of a million plus, there'll be thousands of women who find out they're pregnant and who celebrate, who call their mother, their father, their friends, their brother, their sister, their boyfriend, their husband, and say, I'm pregnant, we're gonna have a baby. That's what they'll say. We're gonna have a baby. That's what they're gonna say. They're not gonna say there's a fetus that has invaded my body. Unless, of course, they hate their baby and they plan to murder their baby. And they'll say, I'm pregnant. We need to terminate this fetus. But the reality is, the mothers who love their babies, the mothers who love their babies, always and only call their unborn baby a baby. When they call their mother, their father, their friends, when they tell their coworkers, when they tell their boss, from the moment of conception, they talk about their baby and when their baby is due and what they're gonna name their baby, if their baby is a boy, if their baby is a girl. The reason they won't call a baby a baby here, young man, is because here they hate babies, here they murder babies, and everyone knows you don't murder babies, and you don't hate babies. Babies are cute, they're defenseless, they're sweet. Men defend babies, young man. They don't help murder them. And we know that as men. So we won't call a baby a baby at the abortion clinic. We'll call the baby a fetus. We'll call the baby a choice. But that's just a lie. And you know it. Take your vest off and leave. Stop lying. Leave before a baby dies if they haven't already. It's, it's 7.30. Probably the first one or two have died already. Yes. 21 days after conception. Actually, it's 18 to 21 days. 21 days is the outside. 18 to 21 days after conception, the baby's heart begins to beat. And every abortion here today will stop a beating heart. Every single one. That's not a slogan. That's not a lying slogan like what's on your chest. That's a medical fact. That's why I tell you, you're on the wrong side of the line. The facts are over here. The lies are over there. The love is over here. The hate is over there. Here, we love you enough to speak the truth so that you will not become a murderer before a holy God. We love you, the mothers and fathers enough to speak the truth so that their babies might live.